Good evening. I'm meteorologist Anthony Sambucci with an Anthony Sambucci weather update. Please follow anthonysambucciweather.com. That is my weather blog, and that would be great. Thank you for those who do. So I was in Florida for the past several days. It's Tuesday, May 23rd, 2017. I'm back in New York. And what a roller coaster ride we had here. In Florida, temp temperatures in Florida were mainly in the 80s. So it was hot down there, and it was really dry and quite nice, honestly, the easterly winds. But up in New York, it was 90s last week, the first heat wave of the year. 97, as high as 97 we hit. Just really amazing, honestly. Then temperatures dipped and got cooler into the 60s. We hit 70 today. It was mostly cloudy. The sun did peak out, but otherwise it's mostly cloudy to overcast today. We're just stuck in those easterly winds which is definitely holding down the temperatures for this time of year. So it's mid to late May now, temperatures in the lower 70s. So we are a little bit below average. It looks like tomorrow will be a better day, but still stuck under easterly winds and northeast wind, a high of 70, a mix of sun and clouds, and possibly a shower. Right now, calling it earlier in the day, and maybe later on at night. So a little more sunny tomorrow than today. But then Thursday, another storm system does hit the area and it will get cool again. Temperatures in the mid, lower to mid 60s. So 60s and another half inch to maybe an inch of rain. So another wet day for Thursday. Just stuck in a cool wet pattern again after the heat wave we had last week. So hot and dry and now it's cool and wet again. Just been up and down this roller coaster weather pattern for New York and for the Northeast. Friday early in the day, AM showers, but we will see clearing and it looks like a nice day, mostly cloudy, but it looks like the sun should come out later on in the day on Friday in the low 70s. Then we do warm up after the storm system as temperatures look, they look like they will hit the lower to mid 70s and Saturday really does look like quite a beautiful day across the area and then right now we're calling for a threat of showers and possibly thunderstorms for your Memorial Day and early Memorial Day forecast temperatures in the lower to mid 70s so nice weather but not really seeing the heat like we saw last week so it's cool and wet but then once we do hit the weekend it should be quite nice so there's the storm system that is slowly making its way across the country. This tracks to the southeast and then will track up along the coast and will affect our area with some showers. We're in the 60s and 70s at this hour. And there's all that rain to the south of us. So yes, after a heat wave, it is now cool and wet. On your Memorial Day, most likely, looks warm, 70s, but a threat of showers. That's the early call. So playing it down the NAM. There's one low pressure system. So it gives the threat of a slight chance of showers for tomorrow, but more of the rain will come in for your Thursday. So definitely exercise caution traveling for your Thursday. It looks like a wet, cool day. And then after this low moves through, later on Friday and into the weekend, the weather looks great. So that's about it, everyone. Welcome back to New York. I have been accepted, if you heard some news, I've been accepted to the University of Miami and I'll be pursuing my master's degree in natural hazards in the search for a job. <laughs> so yes, please follow me. I'll still be doing your weather updates. Please follow me. I'm meteorologist Anthony Sambucci. I can be found on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, Please follow me, and I can also be found at anthonysambucciweather.com. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy your May. Enjoy your Memorial Day. Stay informed, and enjoy the weather.